everybody. Me, Aiden, and Matt. No. And, and also wife. And the puppy co-star who is currently starring. As always. And today I'm going to be testing three ramens. I know it's like... I know it's ramen and all. I mean, I already have about like 10 videos of ramen. But I'm finally finishing the ramen tasting, so. Uh, yeah. Hold on, don't mind the slight little shaking of the camera. I am trying to fix the stupid tripod. Okay, sorry. It was a little shaking. So, today I'm going to be testing. Oriental style instant wet noodles. Okay, um. Thank you, because the camera is now further away. I got. Oh, here. Here. Give me a second. Let me move. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm, sc I'm scooting my tuchus a little bit closer here, because I'm sitting like 10 miles away. You can see rearranged. And. Oriental style noodles shrimp. Um. Flavor. I'm not sure what the other. Once you eat the other one, you're gonna have to. And here, we're gonna have to figure out what the other. Once you start eating the other one, we're gonna have to figure out what the other one is. The least... first one. Yeah. Um, you're gonna have to figure out what exactly there because we have no we're exactly sure what that flavor is. And my least favorite one. Which will probably be. Sauerkraut flavor. Oh, they're, they're, they're seeing the ingredient last year. Yay. Beef with sauerkraut. Oh. I like the package. The uh, tan shi fu. Never, um. never met noodles. I don't get it. Mm. Never met noodles. How have you never met noodles? Anyways. Have you ever met noodles? No. There you go. First up, the flat noodles. The flat noodles? Yeah. The what noodles? The flat noodles. Oh, I tasted the fat noodles. Well, maybe it's going to be You're going to have to tell me what it tastes like, the flavor. Those ones look good. <laughs> oh, sorry, everyone. The coffee's killing me. <sighs> Spicy? Yeah. Oh, I did chili have. Powder. Yeah. I'd say it did have chili powder in it. I think that one's like a. I want to say chicken. It's kind of almost like a standardy flavor. Mm -hmm. So I want to get that over here out of the way. And now, the shrimp flavor. I want to show them the. Oh, let me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hold on, I didn't show them the other one. Maybe. So, this is the first one he ate, which actually looks really, really good. Okay, want me? Can we kind of show them a little, one a little bit, please? Yeah. That one kind of looks like your really standard instant, like almost like instant ramen noodles.
Oh, I forgot to ask before you moved on, which you always do. You always do this to me. The first one. What do you think of it? Because you do. You you always do this to me. You you do you go so quickly. <laughs> Sorry, it's a chilly daughter. So you do you do this to me all the time before because you rush rush rush. The first one. The. I liked it. I I really get it. What on the scale of one to ten? Because you you do this to me. You ten. Give it a ten out of ten on the first one. And the second one? Yeah, what, so what do you think of the second one, the Trump one? It looks good. It has a hint, the soup has a hint of lime in it. Which, I think it's been every one. Every of the, like, the fishy, shrimpy one. Yeah. Has always had, like, a, I think you've always had a hint of. So, would you, okay, the first, fair game, you didn't let me finish before you moved on. You need to stop doing this. Sorry. When I'm asking you questions, let me finish, please. Thank you. Let me, I'm the questionnaire, I'm the interviewer. The first one. Would you get it again? Sorry. The second one. Would you get it again? Yes. Would you recommend them? I recommend it. If you like. I, a lime tasting ramen. Kind so, of. you would, if you like, spite, for the first one, if you like, kind of a little bit of spicy, or second one, if you like a little bit of lime, you would recommend them. The first one had a fireball to it. So like I said, if you like the first one, if you like a little bit of heat, the second one, if you like a little bit of lime taste, you'd yeah. recommend. I mean, it had a hint of heat, but that's about it. I would recommend it. Not too bad, too. I mean, the soup was good. The first soup was good, too. But it was really hot. And then he was second ramen. The soup had a hint of lime in it. If you like lime flavored soup. Well, like I said, I think you've mentioned I every it, every time like the shrimp ones have always had a hint of lime. In it. I would give it a six. Halfway. But I mean, you still you you still get it again. Yep. Okay. Here, take your thingies. Now, my least favorite. Hopefully. So, let's show what it looks like. Let's show what it looks like. Boom. I'm not too sure about this one. Because I like sauerkraut, don't get me wrong. On hot dogs. Ben ramen. I know. I'm not a big fan of sauerkraut. That's just wrong. So sauerkraut is good with some things, just not others. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe sauerkraut will be good in ramen. Who knows? You've gotten, you've had some ramen with sauerkraut before. That's weird. What? It had a really big hint of lime. Thing. <laughs> I don't know if it was lime. Um, that's my least favorite. That's your least favorite? Tastes like what your <clears throat> Asian grandmother would make. Was that just like a diss to all Asian grandmothers? No. I just feel like that was just like insulting Asian grandmothers. <laughs> no. Because you just said that was like your least favorite, and then you're just like, that tastes like what Asian grandmothers make. I just feel like that was just like a stab in the back. Like, that's like really insulting. <laughs> Anyways. So, shouldn't we eat that like Asian grandmothers eat the best kind of ramen? So that should be like the fa your favorite oh. one, best one. So what would you rate this My one? Full of ramen. So what would you rate this one? I rated <laughs> five. 
the soup was okay. It's just the soup tastes like something your Asian grandmother would make. So you like the soup part of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it wasn't the so it wasn't the you like the soup part of it. Yeah. That was okay. But the noodles and the sauerkraut together. So it just, it, the you didn't really care for the noodles. You like the soup base. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you weren't insulting Asian grandmothers. You were complimenting them on the soup base. It's just sauerkraut does not belong in there. Um, can I tell you something there, dude? Sauerkraut does not belong on anything. It belongs on the hot dog. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not, I don't really like sauerkraut. It belongs on a hot dog and on a Reuben. I've never had a Reuben. I legitimately have never had a Reuben, so I cannot tell you if it belongs on a Reuben. <laughs> Since I've never had one. And on a hot dog, the only thing that belongs on a hot dog is ketchup, maybe some celery salts, maybe chili and cheese if it's a chili dog. And you guys, if I may suggest, you should get some watermelon slices. Try it with Himalayan pink salt. I've never had that either. I've had watermelon, just not Himalayan pink salt. It's good. <clears throat> I try to avoid too much salt. Anyways, I'm thinking for the next video, future if you, ideas. If you just watched my, our last video, we're like, we have no idea what to do next. Anyways, for my future ideas, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some protein fries that my wife is gonna make, but she's gonna get some. It's going to be the standard protein fries, but she's going to get different toppings for it, different sauces for the protein fries, and then green cheeses. And then there's going to be a pizza making video also, but the wife is going to pick out the random items, and she's going to make it for me. For tips. I might be blindfolded and see what she had in store. Wait, hold on. So I know we just we before okay, so in between so anyone that will, will watch my preparing this video, my video for us preparing the ramen. I'm watching this video for like so if anyone watches my video that I think is already actually uploaded already, um, we're like, we have no idea what to do next for a video. And then between do recording that video and in the few minutes it took us to, for the ramen to do its thing, we're like, we have, cause we're like, we have no idea. So then we were talking about doing the pizza. But she did not tell me about the, the poutine fries. So what are we doing with the protein fries? You did you, we we did stuff with pizza, but you did not yeah. tell me anything about the about the protein fries. I, I knew about the pizza. That. So can you tell me what the heck we're doing with the protein fries? I was thinking about that actually. Thank you. Um, can you enlighten the wife since you said I'm doing I'm making it? <clears throat> I will happily make it. I just need to. I would like to know what I'm. Well, doing. the thing was, while I'm doing my guitar lessons, the wife is gonna run to the store. Get Can I not run, please? Well, she's going to drive to the store and pick out some items, Mr. Adams, that I'm not going to know of until we make the video. And I'm going to be blindfolded. AKA most of my videos, you don't know what we're doing. And I'm going to be blindfolded because I cannot see the items. And I'm going to be blind tasted. Testing the booty fries and the pizza. So we're doing like an so I'm gonna say um <clears throat> poutine fries is fries with brown gravy and cheese curd. Mm hmm How is that a surprise? You know what poutine fries yeah, we make no. homemade we make homemade poutine fries well, when I could eat carbs we <clears throat> make homemade poutine fries. No, you don't understand that. How can I instead use of the brown gravy and cheese curds? You're gonna get like 
Oh, so mozzarella like mozzarella cheese curds, oh. like buffalo chicken. And well, we would do that. We'd do the different style cheese curds. Yeah, but for the sauce, it'd be like turkey gravy or like chicken gravy or chocolate or something. I don't know. Oh, no, how okay. So, like, know how we talked about um doing different versions of poutine fries, like a breakfast poutine? Mm -hmm. So, we could do like um. A breakfast poutine with sausage gravy and sausage. Instead of doing regular like fry like fries, we could do like hash browns, like home fries. Good. That could be an interesting video. No, I'm gonna go ahead and finish one of the ramen. So people below comment to see if you would be interested in watching him eat. A us trying a breakfast poutine. I think that would be interesting to see what people think. Smash that like button and subscribe. Please and thank you. I want to I want to know what other people what people think if they would be interested in seeing us trying to make breakfast food doing a breakfast poutine. You don't have enough of a stomach. You're too skinny. You need to eat more food. I'll give you some of my extra flubby dubbies. No, thank you. Hey, some of my flubby dubby went away. So I don't have as much to give anymore. Okay, no, do you want to say goodbye before I shut this off? Well, sunny out. Hey, guys. And the all star wide. Bye bye. And the co star puppy who still is ignoring us. Hey, Sadie. Sadie. Did you say goodbye? Eh, well, at least she's looking. <laughs> yeah, well, she at least looked. But I think that was her saying goodbye. Yeah, she went back to storing. Bye, everyone.